T-shaped uterus is considered a congenital malformation resulting from the failure of later embryological development. Its prevalence and impact remain unknown. This study aims to summarize the definition, diagnosis, prevalence, etiology, and clinical relevance and effectiveness of interventions for T-shaped uterus not related to diethyl stilbestrol DES, exposure. A literature search was performed, excluding studies regarding DES-related T-shaped uterus. Twenty studies were included. The majority of studies were of poor quality. In 11 studies, the diagnostic method used was 3D ultrasound. There is no consensus on the definition of T-shaped uterus, but the most cited criteria were of the ESRA and ESGE. The reported prevalence varied from 0.2% to 10%. T-shaped uterus was considered a primary condition in three studies, secondary to adhesions in five and adenomyosis in one. T-shaped uterus was related to worse reproductive outcome based on subfertility, miscarriage, preterm delivery, ectopic pregnancy, and repeat implantation failure. Of the studies that reported on the effects of surgical treatment, some mentioned improved rates of pregnancy, live birth, term delivery, miscarriage, and ectopic pregnancy. However, the evidence is of very low quality with serious critical risk of bias. Some authors reported no complications related to the procedure, while others mentioned persistence of dysmorphism, bleeding, infection, and adhesions. The prevalence, etiology and clinical relevance of T-shaped uterus remain unclear, and there is no consensus on the definition and diagnostic method for this condition. Expectant management should be considered the most appropriate choice until randomized controlled trials show a benefit of intervention.